you here. Hi everybody, welcome to Mindful Monday. I hope you all got a chance to see the beautiful flower, blood, full moon eclipse last night. The moon was just beautiful. Um, and full moons are gen generally a time to, um, well, we experience the fullness in many different ways. Um, but it's also sort of an ending a time when we can um, let go of some extraneous, unnecessary things in our lives. So that might be something you uh, include in your intention for this practice. Um, it can also be a good time to just reset, find your center, which yoga is always good for. So with that in mind, I'm going to suggest that we start in child's pose. So uh, lay down something definitely for your knees. If you're not comfortable in child's pose, Sukhasana, seated, sit, uh, sitting on your sits bones, crisscross applesauce is also going to give us the hip opening that we're going for. Um, but if you're coming into child's pose, just bring your knees as wide as your mat, bring your big toes to touch, extend your arms forward, and let the third eye, that center of the forehead, come to the ground. You might even uh, rotate a couple of times on the forehead just to stimulate that seat of intuition as we connect with our blood moon. And then hopefully you have blocks. I'm gonna set mine at the front of the mat, no worries. We can do that later, um, but we will be using them. So as you're ready, sink your hips back. Give yourself time to lower into this child's pose. Extend your arms nice and long, and then let your elbows and your wrists, your forearms just rest on the mat. Palms can face down or up. And begin to notice what you notice. So if there's any tweakiness in the back, just kind of let it settle, give it some time. Soften the face, soften the jaw, swallow in the throat. Acknowledge what you brought to your mat this morning. And feel that support of the surface beneath you. Imagine it's here for you. And give yourself permission for this next chunk of time, 45 or so minutes, to focus on that reset, that recentering, or perhaps an opportunity to let go of something that no longer serves us. Softening the belly, invite in a deep breath. So you notice in your child's pose, you can fill up the back body and really sense the rib cage expanding, the sides of the lungs expanding in the upper back area of the body. And then a slow exhalation, just deflate, just let go. And as you do, see if your hips can slide a little closer to the heels. Maybe walk your fingertips a little farther forward. Take a next breath. Whenever you're ready, fill up completely. And then release that air. Let go completely. Softening where you can. Take a few more here. See if you can really give yourself permission to just soften in this pose. And using the breath. Filling up with that good oxygen. And then releasing, letting go completely. Good. Soften the back of the neck. Good. Let's take one more big breath together. And then tent your fingers, come up on your fingertips, lift the head, 
and slowly walk your hands over to the right side of your mat. Lower your forehead again. You might rock your third eye a little bit. And get that stretch in the left shoulder, the left tricep, and the left side body. Good. Breathe here. And then as you let go, see if you can send that left hip back toward the left heel a little bit more. Making space. On your next inhalation, lift up enough to walk your tented fingers over to the left. Go ahead and lower your forehead. Maybe rock it out. Get that stretch in the right side body. Good. Breathe in. And as you breathe out, send that right hip toward the right heel. Excellent. On your next breath in, we'll lift up, walk back to the center, and then come up to your tabletop, bring your knees under your hips, and then send your, le your, your legs, your arms long again. We're going to bring the forehead down between the arms, lower the elbows to the floor, lift the, the tailbone will lift, the hips will be over the knees, and we'll come into a puppy pose. So this is a big stretch for the shoulders and upper back, so only go as far as your body is ready this morning. Little back bend, if you haven't noticed, actually a deep back bend. So breathe here. Let go. Let's take one more breath in. And another breath out. And then as you're ready, come on up to your table. We'll, we'll go ahead and get off our knees by lifting up into downward facing dog. So tuck your toes, lift on up, straighten your legs, and just walk the dog out for a bit. We'll just give our knees a little break. <clears throat> as you're ready, lengthen the spine. Send your heels toward the floor. Get that stretch in the back of the legs. Come up on your toes a couple of times and lower your heels a couple of times. Good. And when that feels complete, just come back down. We'll lower the knees to uh, beneath the hips and the spread fingers on the hands underneath the shoulders. Dip your belly. Inhale. Come into your first cow pose. Lift your gaze. Lift your tailbone. Exhale to round. Work out that spine. If the puppy pose was intense for you as it was for me, let's give that spine a little, a little workout here, forward and back, and just moving with your breath. Puppy pose is intense sometimes. Nice stretch for the shoulders, however. Let's take one more cow pose together. And one more cat pose together. Press the mat away, then tuck your toes, lift your knees off the floor, come into another downward facing dog. Do what you like in your down dog, so take it for a walk. Or lift your heels. And then find stillness in your down dog. Let your head just angle, back of the neck soft. Spine lengthened, gaze back towards your knees or your thighs. Take a nice big breath in. Come up on your toes, move any props out of the way, and take a slow walk to the front of your mat. We'll come into a forward fold, release your wrists. Let's take some circles here, and then bend your knees as much as you need to. Just take a rag doll. Be Raggedy Ann or Andy, shake the head yes and no. Take a nice breath in, and as you exhale, just release, let your hands come down, root to rise, bend your knees, inhale, rise up, reach up. Take your arms as though they are that full moon. So, like, you know, just make a big round ball, like you're holding a beach ball, and then lean to the right, keeping your feet on the floor. Good. Inhale, come back up to center and lean to the left. Excellent. Come back up. And then we'll flip the palms. Take them behind the back. Clasp your hands. Bend your knees as much as you need to. And let your head come under your heart, lifting your arms up high. 
Good. Take a gaze under your right shoulder. Breathe in. Breathe out. Come back to center. And take a gaze under your left shoulder so the arms can go over to the right. And then shake it out. Bend your knees. Root to rise. Reach up. Make that ball again. Hold that beach ball, that moon. Lean to the right. Inhale, back up to center. Lean to the left. Inhale, back to center. And then bend your knees as much as you need to. Just get funky with it. Take your beach ball and maybe rotate around in a circle. See if you can hold that ball as you... And then go in the other direction. Yeah. See if you can hold that beach ball, that moon. Hold the moon. Good. You come up to center. Shake it out. Ah, come into your mountain pose. Lift and spread your toes. Lower them down. Let your palms face forward and draw your shoulders back. Take a nice big breath in in your mountain pose. Ah, feel that length in the spine. I'm having my house power washed here today, so you might hear the sounds of the power washer. <clears throat> when you're ready, inhale, reach up. And exhale, forward fold. You can come to your blocks or the floor. Inhale as you come to your halfway lift. And exhale, take your hands to the floor. Step your right leg back. Let's lower the knee. We'll lower the top of the foot and just come into a gentle Anjani Asana. So leaning forward, getting that stretch in the front of the hip, the hip flexor. Shine your heart. Look up. Good. Take a hold of your beach ball. Lean to the left. See if you can stay steady. Good. And then see if you can bring it on around to the right. Yeah. And come up to center. Take your hands to the floor or blocks. Tuck your right toe. We're going to stand up coming into our crescent lunge. So thinking of a crescent moon, <clears throat> drawing those fingertips, the pinky fingers toward one another as you frame your ears. Good. Left knee over left ankle. Breathe in. And then as you breathe out, open up warrior two. So the back foot spins and the left knee is over that left ankle. Reach your arms from your shoulders. Good. And then straighten your left leg. Reach up. Let your palms reach up above your head. And then exhale, flip your palms. Come back down into your Warrior two, gaze over those left fingertips. Good, inhale, sweep up. Exhale, lower down. Good, inhale, sweep. And exhale, keep that leg straight, but send your arms back out and lean forward toward that left leg. We'll come into a triangle, so good place for the block here or hand can come to the inside of the left leg. The right arm reaches up. Good, nice big stretch, opening shoulders. You can put a little bit of uh, pressure from your left hand into your left leg. Make sure it's not on your knee. Keep pressing into the right side of the right foot. Good, breathe in. Maybe gaze up toward that right arm. Always the option to take a half bind here, if you like, taking your flip palm and placing it on the sacrum. Good, take one more breath in, reach up if you've, you've taken that half bind. And then we're gonna come back up through warrior two, but take the right arm back down. Sweep the left arm up, come into a reverse triangle. So it's a lean, it's a lean and lots of stretch on this left side body. You can maybe take your gaze up toward, toward your arm, 
or under your left shoulder. Good, breathe in. Come back through your uh, warrior two as you exhale. <sighs> yeah, we're gonna do this. We're just gonna go for it. We're gonna take that left uh, right leg and hop it forward and bring our weight into our left leg and come immediately into a half moon. So yeah, so yeah, use your block. <laughs> Find something to look at on the floor first. Lift your right arm up only as you're ready. Flex your right foot. And maybe if you start to feel stable enough, take your gaze up towards your right arm. So we might be wobbling a little bit. You might keep your gaze down toward your, your block. If you move your gaze, as I did, yeah, things are going to get funky. So come in and out of this. We're only playing, right? I told you this full moon was intense. <laughs> We've got this. Come in and out of this balance pose as you're ready. And then really, let's all come together at the front of our mat and just let it go in a forward fold. So release your wrists, hang, maybe come into ragdoll and sway from side to side. Good, breathe in, breathe out, let that stuff go. Shake out the head, yes and no. Inhale, root to rise. Let's reach up, reach up that beach ball. Let's take it to the right, good. Come back up to center on your inhale and take it to the left, good. Inhale, reach up, flip your palms and find the funky way so the other thumb is on top and forward fold here lift your arms up look under your left shoulder arms can go to the right look under the left arms can go to look under the right arms can go to the left good release that inhale come to your halfway lift Beautiful, and exhale, forward fold. Take your fingertips to the floor or your blocks. We'll step back with the left leg. Lower on down, come into your Anjani Asana. Let's stretch this right, left hip, right and left. Yeah. Good, draw those shoulders back and down as you shine your heart. You know you are. Breathe in. Breathe out. Good. Let's take one more breath in. This feels so good. Nice stretch for the hip flexors. <clears throat> and as you're ready, tuck your toes. Let's rise up, coming into our crescent lunge here. Drawing those pinky fingers together. Right knee over, right ankle, left heel lifted. And then open up warrior two on this side. So send those fingertips out from the shoulders. That back foot spins to flat. Right knee, if it's tracking inward, see if you can send it toward the right pinky toe. Good, breathe in and breathe out. On your inhale, flip your palms, straighten your legs, reach up. On your exhale, lower back down. Keep that knee pressing toward the pinky toe. Inhale and exhale. Good. Inhale again. Keep that leg straight. And as you exhale, send your arms out, reach forward. We'll come into a triangle. So the right arm can come down to the inside of the right leg, left arm lifts. Good, breathe in. Maybe gaze up toward your extended arm. Always the option, take that half bind. You can flip your palm and take it to the sacrum, wrap it. Just keep pressing into the left side of the left foot. Good, take a full breath, fill up, biggest breath yet. And then let something go. Good, keep that knee somewhat on the straight side. Little bend is no big deal. Release that arm back up and then stand up, send your left arm back behind you, 
reach up and over take your reverse triangle here good breathe in breathe out get that nice stretch in the right side body and then come back through your warrior two bend that knee think about that block that's in front hopefully of your mat and we're going to come to that block and come into our half moon on this side so the block can be on the lower the medium it can be on whatever height works for you so we're just playing here so you can lift that left leg you can flex the left foot you can lift the left arm gaze where you do feel steady and find that place where you feel steady so this side might be a little more uh, amenable to our situation so let's breathe as we practice that's what it's all about right good take one more breath in and then another breath out as you come forward let that left foot come to meet the right uh, bend your knees as much as you need to bring your peace fingers wrap them around your big toes maybe belly comes to thighs and then gently as you can straighten those legs and draw your elbows out take a nice relaxing stretching forward fold here good breathe in as much as you can breathe out let some stuff go good when you're ready go on press into your feet root to rise bring that big beach ball with you look up test your balance excellent and then flip your palms take that beach ball behind you see if you can hold it as you forward fold it's light it's not heavy see if you can hold on to it and then bring it on up whatever way you can take it to the left and take it to the right and then take it forward and lay it down good inhale come halfway and exhale take your hands to the mat step jump or make your way to the mat whatever way feels perfect for you so I'm gonna rock forward and lower down slowly as I can using the strength of my arms you can always lower your knees make a little pillow for your hands turn your head to one side and rock side to side give yourself a moment here to rest and let yourself shake out Good. take your head turn it to the other side Sophie shake it out good breathe in and breathe out nice big breath as you bring your forehead to the center actually to the mat take your hands back behind you clasp them we're going to lift just the arms up off the back squeeze the shoulder blades together and then as you're ready lift your head and shoulders find something to gaze out so you have a nice long neck you can keep the tops of the feet on the floor for now and see how steady you can keep your breath maybe lift a little bit higher and then lower down as you're ready make a pillow or just turn your head from side to side shake it out whatever side you are turn it to the other just give your neck a chance to stretch on both sides and then bring your forehead back to the mat clasp your hands the funky way we're going to start by lifting just our shoulders squeezing the shoulder blades and then go ahead to add the head that heavy head and then if you like zip your legs together and lift your feet and your knees off the floor breathe in yeah good back bend here breathe out good 
as you're ready lower down turn your head <coughs> excuse me to one side rock it out <coughs> and then switch sides let's take one more so decide which back bend you are ready for <coughs> and then go ahead go for it lift up see this one got me all choked up breathe in squeeze those shoulder blades together see if you can lift a little bit higher if you're going for it and then slowly lower down rock it out <coughs> I'm going to take a little drink of water as you breathe breathing in and breathing out <coughs> Hmm. Maybe place your forehead in the center. Rock out that third eye. Then as you're ready, we're going to bring our knees wide, sink our hips back as a counter stretch, coming back into our child's pose where we started so you can always take your hands to the outside of the feet or you can extend your arms long good breathe in exhale it out let the hips sink toward the heels with each exhalation see if you can release tension in the back we're going to release it a little bit more soon if your knees are bothering you come on up eventually we will all come up and tuck something under your seat bring your left heel to your towards your right hip so we're bending the knee you can always also leave it forward if your knees are tweaky today and then take that right leg cross it over we're going to take a twist toward the right so this left arm can come to the outside of the right leg right fingertips come to the back and then lift the crown of the head breathe in <clears throat> <clears throat> yes we get our sinuses moving i'm letting go of this sinus thing that i've had this is my opportunity exhale as you twist a little deeper and notice if you're holding on to tension in, in one hip or the other. See if you can use the breath. Send the breath there. And let this twist be from the rib cage. As you take it wherever you're ready. <clears throat> it looks like it's raining, but that's power washing actually happening. Good. Breathe in one more time. Nice big deep breath. Lengthen the spine. And then as you exhale, we're going to hoist this right leg up and over bring it together with the left we'll come into a baddha konasana so bring the feet together and then let your lower spine lengthen let the middle spine lengthen let the crown of the head reach so we're coming forward with a nice long spine breathe in always the option to tuck blocks underneath your knees if you feel like that would be supportive sometimes just doing that gives gives you the illusion that you are able to relax and then you are and you actually go a little deeper in your stretch so lift and lengthen the spine on your inhale and then let your exhalation just be a surrender here so chin can come to chest shoulders can come forward <coughs> good breathe in exhale let something go good nobody said it was easy but it sure is fun that's my new yoga song i'm going to finish it later breathe in and breathe out on your next breath in take the outsides of your legs go ahead draw them in take your props out of the way keep them close and then bring that right heel to the left 
cross the left leg over. Bring your right arm to the outside or always the option to give yourself a hug to the outside of this left leg. Fingertips reach back behind you to help lift your spine. And then the twist comes from the right rib cage as you gently take your gaze over your left shoulder. Keep pressing into that leg and equally into the arm as you twist. Good, nice big breath. Nice long spine. Nice big breath, lifts and lengthens. Long exhalation, releases and twists as far as you're ready. Good, one more breath in. <clears throat> Good, use your exhalation to slowly unwind. Good, and then we'll take our legs long on our mat. We're not coming all the way down yet, but keep your uh, blocks handy, your blanket handy. <clears throat> Sit up nice and tall, draw your shoulders down and away, and then just take your fingertips to the sides of your legs and walk them toward your feet. Now you might get there where you can reach the edges of your feet, or you might wanna take your strap, and we'll come into a forward fold using either strap or just the hands on the sides of the feet or the legs. Decide where you will land. Maybe lift and lengthen a few times before you find that final point where you're getting the stretch in your hamstrings and your back, <clears throat> but you're not feeling any pain, only sensation. And then once you arrive there and you feel like this is a good place to be for a few rounds of breath, see if you can let your shoulders relax forward, your chin come to your chest, and we'll take some long breaths. So again, fill up the back body. Fill up every little nook and cranny of the lungs that you can find with your breath. And then exhale, let something go. Good. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. And breathe out. Let's take one more deep breath in. One more deep breath out. And release your hands or your strap. Walk your way back up. We'll come down to our mats. Hug your knees into your chest. Give yourself a little hug. Maybe rotate around in one direction. <clears throat> and then the other. Good, get that massage. And then start to rock gently. This might not be for everybody. We're going to rock forward and back. So we get a different kind of massage on our spine, the length of the spine. And then eventually, after a few more rocks, we'll meet in a boat pose. So you can take your hands underneath your legs. You can extend your legs. Find your boat pose. Let's stay. We're gonna engage those abs, bring them into the belly. Notice if you're holding your breath. See if you can breathe in and breathe out as normally as possible. Notice if you're clenching your jaw or your neck. See if you can soften a little bit. Let's stay for five, four, three, two, one, lower down as slowly as you can and take a full body stretch here. You can rock your pelvis so that you're getting that stretch, little back bend in the lower back. Good, breathe in. And then as you're ready, lower the lower back to the floor, hug your knees in again. Rock from side to side this time. 
Release. Good. Take a hold of your strap. If you don't have a strap, no worries. Lower your left foot to the floor. If you have a strap, place it around the ball of the right foot and extend that leg up. If you do not have a strap, just reach for the calf muscle. If you have your strap, let your hands slide down and press that right heel up toward the ceiling. And breathe in as you stretch that hamstring. Breathe out as you let something go. Good. Let your shoulders relax on the floor. Take another breath. Maybe you draw it a little bit closer. If you'd like to extend that left leg for a little more of a stretch in the front of the left leg, feel free. And then when you're ready, take the strap in your left hand, release your right arm out to the right and take that leg across the body. Breathe in. Keep pressing the heel. My house is getting so clean on the outside. And with yoga, everything's getting clean on the inside, right? Come back up to center, take the strap in the right hand, open the left arm, press that heel out as you send the leg out to the right. <clears throat> Feel free to take a couple more passes through each of these if that, this feels really good. And then when you're ready, take the strap off if it's there and just gently lower that right leg all the way down to the floor. And just take a moment to notice the difference between the right and the left legs. Sometimes it, one leg will feel really a lot longer. When you're ready, we'll take it to the next side so you can bend your right knee or leave it straight. Place the strap on the ball of the left foot or just reach for your calf. Let your hands slide down. Breathe in as you press the heel toward the ceiling and breathe out. Let go of some something, something, something in that hamstring. Good. A couple more breaths here. See if you can draw that leg a little closer to, as you press the heel a little closer to the ceiling. When you're ready, strap in the left hand or Simply guide that leg outward. Take that right arm to the right. And keeping the shoulders on the floor. Fill up with breath. Exhale. On your inhalation, bring that leg up. Switch hands. Take the leg across the body. Turn your gaze in that direction. Keep pressing that heel. Good. Inhale as you send it up to the sky. Release your strap. And then slowly let that leg descend. And see if your legs are a little more even. <clears throat> and just enjoy that. Maybe take a few ankle circles. Breathe in. And breathe out. We're going to hug our knees in one more time. Take those legs up. Flex and point a couple of times. Let's take just a um, supported shoulder stand if you like. <clears throat> you can let your legs just reach up toward the ceiling. Or you can bring your feet to the floor. Tuck your block underneath your sacrum and let your block support you in the shoulder stand. You might get a little deeper um, stretch. Once you get there, just snuggle your shoulders underneath you, let your palms face up, and let's be here. Let's just close our eyes and be here. Super restorative, whether you are on a block or not. You can also use your blanket And just let your legs recirculate in the opposite direction. Super good for varicose veins and any other ailments of the legs if your ankles tend to swell. 
just give your legs a chance to rest. Let's take a couple more breaths here. This can also be done on a chair, a bed, against a wall. It's super good for us. <clears throat> Take the fullest breath ever. I mean ever. And then as you release that breath, bend your knees, bring your feet to the floor, place your palms on the floor, go ahead and lift up into one bridge pose. So really pressing into those thigh muscles, see if you can lift your hips a little bit higher. And take that block away if it's there and slowly lower your back down to the floor, just one vertebra at a time, so it's nice and long on the floor. And then hug your knees into your chest. Take a hold of the outsides of your feet and come into a fun, happy baby, so you can rock your baby side to side. You can reach a little more, so your knees come toward your shoulders. And just allow the head and the neck to be supported by the mat. You can extend one leg straight and then the other. Just play. Just like we played in our half moon. Just play in your happy baby. Take a nice big breath in and as you're ready, draw your legs together. Just gently take them over to the right. Take a final twist, turn your gaze in the opposite direction. Swallow in your throat. Soften your face. Take a big breath in and release some air through your mouth. Just let go of something. See if your, your knees get a little closer to the floor. Mine did, just a little bit. Then on your next breath in, hug the knees into the chest, take them over to the left, open up that right shoulder, take your gaze in that direction. See if you can breathe here. Enough to let something go. And as you're ready, Gently draw your knees back to center. Give yourself one more squeeze and then let it all go. Send your legs long, wide as your mat. Let your feet just splay out. You can take one final stretch and then let your arms just come to the sides. You can cover up if you're feeling a little chilly or take your blanket many places, one of which is on the belly, one is possibly behind the neck. Yogi's choice, <clears throat> once you get there, just settle in. Find your Shavasana. You deserve it. Take a nice big breath. And then a final exhalation through the mouth. Let some stuff go and then descend, surrender, release. Allow yourself to be supported as you rest.
And begin to deepen the breath. If you like, bring small movements to fingers and toes. And really take your time to curl up, rolling to one side and curl up in that fetal position. Just transition slowly during these intense times. We want to take our time with change. Make sure we're ready. And then initiate that change with gentleness and self-compassion. So only when you're ready, use the strength of your arms to come up. Find a seat. Take a moment to appreciate your hips. Appreciate the legs that are nice and stretched out. <clears throat> And notice the length of your spine. When you're ready, inhale, reach your arms up, reach up for all the goodness. Let your palms touch and draw them down to your heart center. And take a moment to bow to your own courage, your own tenacity and your own love. Send out a prayer to someone who could use it. Thank you all for practicing. Have a wonderful day, a wonderful week. Namaste.